Hey guys, Violet here. I'm so excited because look what just came in the mail. It's the Witch's Planner. Yep, so this is the package. Uh, shipped all the way from the UK to here. I'm in the United States. And um, I did ask if it could be shipped without plastic, but um, I mean, I think this is just how it comes and I understand. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Let's open it up. Okay. I am so excited for this because lately my two obsessions have been witchcraft and planners, and this is both. Um, I'm kind of a big fan of the passion planner. That's what I tend to use. Oh yes, this package might be a little bit thicker than yours because I also got a tote bag with it. Oh my gosh, I already see it came with a pen and I'm so excited that it came with a pen. I might not even need this one. I wanted a test pen. Okay, here we are. Okay, can you see the, the words, the witch's planner? Um, so this feels really nice. This is a faux leather, it's vegan actually. Yeah, okay, so inside, this is the tote bag. I really like it, it's cute, it's gonna be perfect to bring it around, fill it with all my pens and markers and plan out at a coffee shop or bookshop. That's what I like to do. Okay, here we are. So there are these, let's see how many are there. Ooh, a card, it's got the moons on it. Business card, Sophie Watkiss. That's where you go, the witch's planner if you want one. So this is the 2019 planner. So this is the very first one. Yeah. Okay, so I always want to know how many pockets there are. So there's one, two, three, four, and then this one that has the clear coating. Um, they seem to go down pretty far so they could hold cards or they could hold even more than that. And then there's a flap right here. It looks like there's another flap right here. I'm pretty funny. I want to like plan things out before I get them in the mail. So I was looking for a review. <laughs> I would like this. And I couldn't find one, so that's why I thought I will make one. <gasps> Look at this pen! This pen says the witch's planner on it. Cute! These pens, I think, only come in the first, it was like a special for the first however many orders. Um, so don't count on a pen coming in, but if she does include it, I mean, it's got this wonderful pen holder. So, I hope that she continues to put these in the planner because I think they're so nice and super cute that it matches. Yeah, so love this. Okay, so here's another pocket. Oh, it's nice and soft on the inside. So that can hold some things, some notes, and more right here. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so here we are. It's nice and big. Like, this is pretty thick. I mean, there's a lot in here, I can already tell. Ooh. So the paper is a little thicker than I was expecting, actually. And we're gonna do a pen test, so we're gonna see how much the pen shows through, if it does. Let's see, ah, oh, first page is the moons. Very cute. So we've got some inspirational quotes. Week 50, so we're starting in December. So I guess that means week 50 of the year. Um, so it looks like for each week, you've got a goal section, positive thoughts, budget, notes, main focus. Seems pretty useful to me. Ah, oh, yes, I'm so excited. So all of the Sabbaths, there is like a Sabbath page. So here we have Yule, um, ritual plan, altar ideas, notes. And, oh yeah, a little bit on the Sabbath to think about what to focus on. So here we are, we're starting 20th of December. Um, looks like every day starts with a little dear journal. I really like that. Um, that's one of the things I saw when I was looking up this planner and I was like, oh my gosh, I always wanna start the day with a little journal entry. And I like that this is small enough not to be intimidating. Um, I used to do the artist way. So I would journal for three pages every morning. And 
I, I loved doing that, but it's definitely, it's sort of intimidating to like face three pages of paper. So I really like that on this, you've got, you know, you can start here and then have one, two, three lines. That's perfect. Reminders to do. Today I'm happy because that's really nice positivity. Um, so one thing that I did notice about this planner so far is that the moons, so they, these are circles and I'm assuming it's for the moon phases, but they're not filled in. So like if you look in this whole planner, they're just like empty circles. So I guess you would have to go through if you wanted each day to have the moon phase and do it yourself. Um, I kind of wish that those were already done because you know, as a witch, how useful that can be. Okay. Yeah, so week one, let's see, is there a monthly thing? I don't think so. I think it's each week has like a week focus and then the daily one. So it looks like there's not a monthly thing, although I know there are lots of extra inserts on her site. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So let's see what's in the back. I know there's more. And really fast, let's see, this ends on, oh wow, so this actually goes for more than a year. We're already at the 23rd of December. Let's see, the last day is mm, 31st of December, I think. Oh my gosh, my cat's just knocked over something. You guys are crazy. Oh, this is this is the website, the witches planner bigcartel.com. I can put this in the description if you're interested in one. Okay, so here we go. We have the moon phases here. Um, it looks like it shows you the new moons, the half moons, and the full moons. Um, down here, it's got different symbols for all of the moons, but it doesn't actually list them with all those symbols. Um, so again, that's something you'd want to go through and do yourself, and I will. I'm obsessive compulsive. I'll make sure that every single day has the right. By the way, this is a cat scratch. It's not my cats, but um, anyway, so cats galore in this video. Um, so I'll want to go through and do each one of those. So I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm a little bit disappointed about the moon phases, but otherwise I think everything's really positive. Oh, this is super cute. Wheel of the year. I like this. I like the lines because um, you can write about like what each phase means to you. There's definitely stuff that I'm going to be writing on these lines. I already know. And they kind of go around the year like that. I love, I love the design. Like I love these two page spreads. I think those are amazing. So we've got an about me. Yep. I, I knew about this already, but there is one typo like solitary or solitarily. Um, she sent out an email about that, so I was curious if mine was going to have the corrected copy or not. It looks like it's not. That's totally fine. She sent, um, basically a, a, like a PDF, I think it was, that you can print out. There are so many PDFs that you can add to this. I went on the site and looked at, um, the printouts. Basically, you can, you can buy, like, for very cheap, um, PDFs and download as many as you want, print them out and put them in here yourself. And there are ones for like your dreams. There's more, so definitely check that out. I think she's also gonna have dividers too, if you wanna divide it in the months. So one thing that I really like about this planner that I've never had from other planners is the fact that it's in a binder. I like that because I can reorder things. I could take, um, let's say I take the spell pages or print out new spell pages and put them in with when I did the spell. Um, that's really cool. So there's sort of like, since there are printouts and since it's in a binder, you can really shape it to be exactly what you want and need. But um, let's do pen test. How about that? Do you wanna, oh, it's a twisty pen. All right, so, oh, so we'll test out the pen and we'll test out the paper. My name is, Violet. All right, so the pen feels pretty smooth so far. Took a second to get it going. Great, all right, let's see what it looks like on the other side. And you don't see through. 
I can feel it a little bit, but I don't see it. So that is awesome. That's really cool. Yay. Ooh, so we've got herbs pages, crystal pages, spells with name tools, process. So it can be kind of like a grimoire as well as rituals. It's like a planner meets book of shadows. Divination. What is divination? My divination tools. Deities. What are deities? My deities. <gasps> okay. So I was trying to see really detailed versions of this. So I'll go ahead and, and show you because I was looking for it. So basically on my feelings chart, you have every month on this side and then you've got one through 31 and it says, Okay, I see zero to 10, worst day ever to best day ever. So you can use numbers. I probably won't. I like the idea of doing colors. I've seen that with bullet journals, like having um, maybe like making a chart like, oh, red means excited or energetic or angry or whatever. And then you make each color. So then you can look at the whole year in colors. Okay, so it says down here, um, keep track of your feelings every day. And at the end of the year, you can see if there are any patterns in your emotions. For each date, rank how your general feelings about that day were from 0 to 10. Okay, so if we're looking at patterns and emotions, I actually think it would be better to um, do the color coding because I think it would be way easier to see patterns than if you see numbers. But maybe I'm a color person, you might be a number person, so it's up to you. Also, these are really small squares. Um, yeah. So since we're talking about colors, I kind of want to do a little color test on this. I'm going to go ahead and color in this square right here, and we're going to see if it shows up on the other page. So I'm just using this, like, I don't even know what kind of marker it is, but anyway, so blue. We're going to fill it in with a blue. I may have overdid the first thing. And let's see. And... It does not show through. Looks pretty good to me. So this one I really wanted to look at. Um, it's kind of hard to read. So in other pictures, I didn't see it. But here we have my routines. So you have task on this side. I can show how many there are if you want to count it. Full page. And then you've got 1 to 31. And I think, yeah, there's only one page of this. So... I guess you could think of it as like maybe it'll take one month to really get into the habit for a certain task or you could um, split this up into months. I'm not sure if this is divisible by 12. Um, there are different ways you could do this. I might go with the whole, hey, if I can do this habit for one month, then I've got it. Like right now I'm trying to meditate every day and do yoga every day. So maybe I'd write down meditation and yoga and then do it for the month. Anyway, I'm sure there are more printouts if you want more routines pages. So there we have, and here we've got a brief history of witchcraft. So that's pretty cool. We've got two pages of notes. Oh, four pages of notes. Witch's planner. Yay, all the contact information. Oh, and a nice sturdy back page. So that is the Witch's Planner. Here we are. I think this is pretty exciting. I'm excited to see how it evolves too, how the planner will look next year and the years going forward. I definitely will be using it. Um, yeah, I, I wish that the moons were filled in. I, I really like Witch's Planners that have information on astrology, like, oh, hey, Mercury is going in retrograde today. That's good to know. Um, but I also understand it's at different times depending on where you are in the world. So I think overall it's wonderful and I'm really excited to use it. So thank you so much for watching this video. And yeah, if you're interested in witchy things, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you so much for coming. My cat thanks you too.